Hey guys, what is up? Mega Nerd Squad here, and today we are reviewing Krampus. This movie is like a love hate. Okay, actually, it's not even a love. It's <laughs> there are certain <laughs> things I do like about it, like the creepiness of uh, the actual Krampus dude towards the end of the movie, the elves, the j creepy Jack in the Box creature. It's telling the story of these, this family who hate each other, and their cousins come over, and they hate them even more. <laughs> And they're just the worst type of people you could ever have at your like Christmas to get get together or whatever. Yeah, it definitely set and, the tone right for like how I guess a lot of people probably feel during the holidays. I think. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, do we really all have to get together? That's probably worse yes than because that, it's Christmas. But... So it definitely got that pretty accurate, but it's also just annoying to watch, almost frustrating. <laughs> this little boy, he believes in Santa Claus still, and his uh, cousins were making fun of it, fun of him for it, and he writes a letter to Santa, and they find it. And he gets disheartened because they're making fun of him because of it. Yeah. And he goes to his room, rips it up, and throws it out. And that's how Krampus is born. Because they say that Krampus is born if you lose hope in Christmas. His like sister a and all goes that. out to see her boyfriend. And, uh, and she yeah, doesn't come back. She doesn't come back at all. <laughs> I would say where this movie gets good is when it starts to get dark. Like when, it, yeah. when the blizzard actually starts to hit, it starts to get actually kind of interesting. Like when she goes and... She sees Krampus' feet when she's hiding oh, underneath yes. the car for the first time. And here's like, I love the jingles that it does because he's got all the bells on him and stuff. So creepy. Yeah. I like that aspect of it. So I like the characters and the eeriness and how dark it actually does get. There's a lot of different side characters before you even get to see the whole side, whole, the whole image of Krampus. Because you don't see Krampus until yeah, yeah. the last 20 minutes of the movie. But there's gingerbread men that try to kill you. Those were my favorite because they <laughs> look so cute. But they were so deadly as well. Yeah. They'd go one right out of each other and just try to hit people with nail guns. And actually did. I also thought those uh, the toys were creepy. Like the bear and the oh, doll yes, and yes. the the uh, robot thing. Those were pretty uh, pretty scary looking actually. That part was kind of creepy. This family basically has to work together to survive. And that's what's driving the end of it as well. Because they realize that they're not as bad as they think they are. Like. They can get along. When those gingerbread men actually come down the chimney and take one of the kids too, that part yeah. is so creepy. And then the climactic kind of ending, when all the elves show up and take like one of the grandmothers, yeah. and then the kid is literally all by himself at this point, and he walks out to where he sees like they have like this cult circle going, and they're mm -hmm. celebrating, and he's that's when he's like he's he throws the bell stop. back and he's like i unwish it but pretty much krampus just picks the kid up and drops him in the in the burning yeah. hole of hell i kind of enjoyed it more towards that more towards the other second half of the movie yeah. first that was kind of annoying because of the the family that was annoying yeah it just didn't help that. that much <laughs> but at the end of the movie there is a twist uh when krampus throws the boy into the well and he's it just looks like it's a dream state a little bit where he sees his family and he's with his family and they're all getting along together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the end. And as they zoom out, you realize he, they're on a snow globe <laughs> and their whole house is a snow globe. Yeah. And there's millions of snow globes around them and you, they re, you realize that Krampus actually took not just their family but hundreds of thousands of yeah, other yeah. families and put them in snow globes and has them in his little home. Yeah, nice creepy little ending. It's like it ends morbidly and then you're like, he, he wakes up and you think it's all good and dandy and then it kind of twists that again back to where it's and i think yeah. they got that part right because yeah. it is krampus it's supposed to be like a horror christmas movie kind of so it should kind of end on a, almost like a creepy note it's not a great movie by any means but it's it's kind of fun to watch at least the second half is i mean just to throw it in and watch the creepy characters so it's uh it's a 6.5 for me if they did get the first part of the movie like right it would have been it would probably wouldn't have been a really good movie like because of the lore there's the lore is really helping yeah. this movie a lot I and think it was tells. supposed to be the way that it was, though, you know, kind of like campy and over the top a little bit, because yeah. that's kind of what the story calls for. It's just the first half when it, there's the absence of the horror, and it's still just kind of goofy. I honestly I kind of enjoyed it more towards the half side. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 as well. I like the dynamic between the dad and his son, mm -hmm. and like their relationship is actually really good. Well, I forget the actor of the dad in this movie, but he's the, yeah. the he, his acting is great in that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do like Krampus and know his folklore and are really, really into it, please leave a like because we kind of, we enjoyed yeah, the let Krampus us know. side of it. Let us know anything that we missed and everything. And also, uh, since it's Christmas today, 
We're uh, wishing right. you guys uh, a Merry Christmas, and we hope you all have a Happy New Year as well. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. Hopefully you get all the presents you guys want. Um, hopefully you spent some time with your family as well before the new year. And next year we're going to be hitting 2020, so hopefully <laughs> we're going to have a great year next year. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit that post notification bell so you know when we drop brand new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Megan Red Squad, out! out.